Right, so here we are. I've just managed to get into the tightest parking space ever, thanks to my front and rear parking sensors, which do come in handy sometimes. It's one of those really narrow Cambridge streets that it's like there's not really enough room for when you park for somebody else to drive past you so they end up having to go on the curb, but the whole street is like that. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to jump into this uh, flickering light situation now and see what we can do. Should be interesting. Right, so of course it's Sod's law that when I'm here it won't flicker, will it? Everything seems to be working fine right at the moment, but that doesn't mean there isn't a problem. So what I'm going to do is just take the consumer unit cover off and do some tests and just see if I can figure out what might be going on. Flickering light is a bit of a weird one, really. Right, it's doing it now. So it's flickering and it's sort of like voltage drop type flickering. Um, don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the lights are dimming and then going brighter, dimming and then brighter. So I reckon there's an issue with the supply, but I'm going to plug my tester in and see what I can find. It's quite good actually, because we've got this light in here, which is a good sort of test because this is doing it. And apparently all the lights in the house are doing it. So yeah, a little bit worrying really. Obviously the customer is quite worried, so they sort of just go dim and then go brighter again. All right, well this is fascinating. So the voltage is going all over the place. So we've got like 230 volts and then it's dropping down all the way to like 220 at some points. And that's when it flickers the worst. So I reckon there's something dodgy going on in the street on the main supply. See, I mean, usually it wouldn't be jumping around all over the place like this. But it is. And um, if you see, I'm not going to do it now, I'm filming, but it was jumping down to about 220 at some point. Normally the voltage on this would be very stable. Yeah, it did go down to 220 a minute ago. 232, you see it shouldn't be jumping around that much. There we go, it's flickering again. 220, yeah, there we go. Two, 223, 221. It's all over the place, 220. 220, yep. Yeah. It's jumping all over the place. So I'm gonna take the consumer unit cover off anyway, turn off everything, and then just measure the voltage on the main tails that are coming in, just to see and make sure that it's nothing within the installation that's causing the volt drop but I have a feeling that it's something on the street. All right, so I've got the board cover off and I'm measuring 233 at the moment, but it is still fluctuating all over the place. I'm gonna turn the main switch off now and then see what we get. So everything's off now from the install. And the voltage is still fluctuating quite a lot. 229, 230, 232, 233. So what we want to see is whether it goes down to about 220 range again. 233, 233.4. Right, so as you can see, I've turned everything off and I've been measuring the voltage and it's still fluctuating all over the place. So it's nothing within this property that's causing the problem. It's actually something on the external side of the supply so i'm going to contact the dno report it to them and hopefully they'll come out and sort it out um not sure what it might be really but i'll let you know some of my ideas when i get back to the van right so back in the van uh interesting one that not something that i've come across very often so massive fluctuations in the voltage nothing from within the house affecting it so it is something on the street i believe so what i'm going to do now is phone uk power networks and report it to them uh, let me know in the comments what you think the problem might be and in a minute i will tell you what i think it might be but let's call you ukpn and um 
see what they say. Hello, this is UK Power Network's Fault and Emergency Information Centre. Or let us know about a dangerous situation involving electricity. Please press 1. To tell us about damage to power cables, press 1. Or let us know about a dangerous situation involving electricity, press 2. If you are calling to hear about our other services... Morning, you're through to Lynn at UK Power Networks. How can I help this morning? Hi, yeah, I'm an electrician. I've just attended a property where they were complaining about the lights flickering, and I've been measuring the voltage, and the voltage is fluctuating all over the place from sort of 240 all the way down to about 220 um, very rapidly. So, there's obviously I, I've turned off the main switch and measured, and there's still a problem with the voltage. So, it's, it's something with your supply that's that's it at fault basically okay i'll get someone out to do a safety check are you leaving them off supply then no i've i've left it on i mean it's it's uh yeah i mean it's affecting so several houses turned it off for, the pur for the purpose of your test was that right yeah that's it yeah i just turned it off okay. so that i could i could test to see if it was something within the house that was causing a problem or whether it was the supply cable and it and it was the supply cable okay there might already be a fault um, on here, you never know, there might be something in the area, but if there isn't, I can raise a job. Yeah, it's um, affecting several houses, I think, because the neighbours have complained about the same thing, so... Uh, no. Related to it. It, yeah. it, I, it might, might or might not, yeah, I mean, the earthly yeah. impedance on this one was okay, but it's just the voltage going all over the place, so it's either a damaged cable or somebody's got a grow going on or something. Yeah, uh, I think she does, yeah, she's she is sort of vulnerable anyway, because she's quite elderly, I'm not sure if a daughter lives there or not. Um, okay. But I and, and they called you out because of the flickering, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, they were really worried about it. Okay. So I've taken your phone number so that if anything goes wrong, I can call you back. Okay. What's your name, please? It's Jordan Farley. Thank you, Jordan. Do you want me to call you back either way? Or yeah, please, if you could just keep me up updated, then I would appreciate it. Okay, well, my name is Lynn on extension 8105. I will text that to you in a moment. When I've raised the job, I will send that to you so you know who you spoke to, Jordan. But any problems, I will come back to you. Perfect. I'm going to give um, the lady a call right now and see what I can do. Excellent. That's very All good. Right. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Take bye -bye, care. Bye. Bye-bye. Right, so UK Power Network's very helpful. What a lovely lady, um, Lynn. So, uh, yeah brilliant actually um they they're very very caring which is nice and seems like they're going to get sorted get it sorted quite quickly but what are what do i think the problem is so i reckon it's a grow in the area what do i mean by that i mean um that stuff that people smoke to get high um basically what happens often and this is kind of an area it's a little bit of a rough area and it could be happening here is that they turn a house into what they call a grow where they grow these plants and they bypass the main cutout so that they can take hundreds and hundreds of amps of electricity uh, and obviously that kind of loading could affect the voltage quite significantly so it could well be that somewhere along this street or in a nearby street there's a grow which is maybe on the same cable or something like that. I did knock on one of the neighbours about 10 doors down just to see if they'd noticed anything and they haven't. But the lady did say that her next door neighbour has, has noticed the, the flickering. So whether they're on different supplies or different phases, I don't know. But it's going to be interesting to find out. UK Power Networks have been really helpful. They said that they're going to let me know the situation, keep me updated, and they're going to call the lady now. So that's really nice. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Interesting puzzle today. I enjoy these kind of puzzles. So, But I just hope that it gets sorted out for the lady, really, because she was very worried about the situation, uh, understandably, really. So, yeah. Enjoyable, interesting. Hit a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you on the next one.